All right, everybody, if you own a 2006 to, I think, 2010 Ford F-150, we're going to remove the stereo. I got an aftermarket receiver in there, but that's not going to be a big deal. The steps are still going to be the same. First, we're going to use some tools like this to get this bezel out and pull it out of the way. There's going to be electrical cable right there that we're going to have to disconnect and then pull it out. So once again, once you use a tool to pry in behind, this front cover just comes off. And that clip is just a soft push tab on the side and pull it out of the socket. Now we got four screws to remove, to remove the aftermarket deck and then pull it out. Guess over time that bracket has uh, suffered its fate. Let's get the stereo out of there. So I just ran the GPS module on the roof. I ran it underneath the weather stripping where it came down. Switched weather stripping through here. And then I have it coming out the back. This is where my dilemma comes into play because we're all ready to put the stereo in. And I had the aftermarket stereo in there and I didn't keep the original stereo which now becomes a problem because this is supposed to be a factory fit. So what we're missing are, are the brackets that would bolt onto the side here, which would in turn bolt in here to hold the stereo in place, which I'm going to have to get, but in a short term ghetto solution until I could find those brackets at the junkyard, however long that's gonna be, what I did is I'm gonna utilize that hole at the back there and I put an extra long screw in. So that screw is going to catch back there to keep this deck from flipping down. And then of course it's got the two pins right there, which will hold in place here. And hopefully in the meantime, the stereo should stay in place until I can get the brackets without it breaking. Fingers crossed. So basically from this point here, we got the factory harness. We got the radio plug. This is the GPS. This is an auxiliary USB. We're gonna plug all this in and put the stereo in. This is your main harness right here. And these plugs I am not using for the time being, but I'm just gonna plug them in so I don't lose them. So it's in, it's not secured because we're not bolted down, but that bolt at the back makes a huge difference until I can get the proper bracket. So let me just find my keys and power this up. All right, we're booting up here. Well, even has the Ford logo. I do like how it boots up with the Ford logo, matches the truck. Just putting in a DVD. Once the cover and everything's put back on, this installation, including running the GPS, took me about 20 minutes. Would have took a little bit longer if I would have had the brackets, but I don't have the brackets, so unfortunately, um, it's just kind of sitting in there loose. So I got to get those soon before I, I bust the plastic up. But anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. It's an interesting little deck.